Howdy, this is day 23 of the Leaco Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's poem. Today's poem is 1239, maximum length of a concatenated string with unique characters. Wow, that's a long sentence. You're given an array of string or a string S is form, formed by concatenation of subsequent of that has unique characters. Return the maximum possible length of S. Okay. Um... Uh, okay, so there are uh, one hint that it is, you know, something related to brute force and maybe dynamic programming is that um, there are only 16 uh, items, right? Uh, because t t um, because the power set of 16 items is just 2 to the 16, um, which is... I don't know what it is. It's not that big. Because 2 to the 20 is a million, so I guess that's like, what, 100,000? Something like that, right? Uh, I should know this stuff, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> 2 to the 16 is 65K. Okay. I don't know why I'm blanking out today. But yeah. Um, so that's really pretty much it, right? So 2 to the 16 times 16 at most, uh, or times 26, really, because the only thing, then that should be good. Uh, I wonder if it's fast enough without memorization, but uh, I'll give it a try. But uh, yeah. But but the idea is using the power set, right? So let's uh, let's let's play around with that. Let's get 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 it going. Um, in a, in a recursive kind of way. Did we do this recently? I don't. I feel like something feels funky about it. Um. Yeah. Let's just recurse on the index. And and uh, maybe like a current array, and then maybe like a current set of scene characters, something like this, right? Um, there are optimizations that we can do, and we'll talk about them as they're needed. But for now, we'll just do it as basically as brute force as we can, really, right? So, um, yeah, index x is uh, the sub. The suffix of array to be consider current is the current um, list of indexes we care about. Do we actually even care about that? No, we don't have to return the strings. Actually, I'm, I'm just like being dumb today. Uh, so current, maybe we can just do like the, the current length. Though that would be also be the size of scene, so we can actually just throw this out, right? Right. So maybe we don't, yeah. And then scene is the set of used characters, right? Or scene characters. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. So, sorry, I'm just... Uh, my bad. I'm just trying to think whether there's like... A, I mean, I know there's slicker ways, but I don't know that those are interesting. But yeah, I uh, hope everyone's having a good day. I'm just also like a little bit tired. Um, just went to the gym and did stuff. Not No squats today, though, but still trying to um, work out my bench um, by changing my grip a little bit just to kind of... Um, you know, when you haven't gone to a gym in a while um you know everything just feels like you you still try to get your bearings in uh almost like a like a corollary to lead code right you haven't done lead code in a while things feel tough and things feel fresh things feel new right but yeah um hmm. yeah so, okay so basically this idea is just recursion take and no take right um, no tech and f 
Yeah, I mean, I think note take is easier to do first, so we'll do that. Uh, so if index is equal to n, then uh, maybe I'll be a little bit lazy. Instead, of do we want to return max? And eh, we can return max, so we can return zero. It's fine. And then if we don't tick, then we um, yeah we just recurse index plus one. We carry the same scene. Uh, if we do tick, then we have to uh, put array of scene right. Oh sorry, array of index. Then now scene dot add something like this, but we have to do like for each character. Uh, is it add or extend maybe? I actually don't know if set has this function. So let me run it real quick. Uh, I mean, this doesn't do anything because I, don't, I didn't do the recursion, but. Uh -huh. Let me see if I, Python set add list. And you can add a list because this is immutable, okay. Uh, all right, well, then then we just have to do it manually. So like for C in array of index, scene dot add of C, kind of, right? Mm. Okay, I guess one thing that we can do is actually pre-process this a little bit just to make our code easier to write um, because you, have to, you also have to make sure that the intersection doesn't contain anything. Otherwise, you're, you're having duplicate characters, right? So now maybe we have like um, sets is equal to a list. And then for item word in a way, uh, then now um, just set, right? No. I, I, I always forget um, the scenario in which it auto converts to a list of characters versus um, So I always have to kind of double check. Okay, so yeah, so it does actually do a set of characters, so that's what we want. But I, I'm always like a little bit forget, forgetful about in which cases that this is the case, a list of characters, and sometimes it's, it acts as a string. It's a little bit confusing. But uh, yeah, and that's why you don't write code that is confusing. But okay, so take if possible, and it is possible if scene and oh, oh not array anymore s of index is uh, if the intersection is equal to the no set. Hmm. Actually, how do I do that? Uh, I guess just the length of this is equal to zero. Then then we can intersect it. So then now we can recurse index plus one scene uh, or index that. So that's like a set set or um, what do they call it? Set addition, I guess. And yeah. And basically, we have a return value is equal to zero. Du, 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 du. Uh, best is, wait, what am I doing? Kind of returned it. Uh, I don't like the way. Uh, I, I think you could recur do uh, the recursion up, but maybe that's a little bit. I don't know. Just a little bit silly. Uh, I am a little bit silly. Right? So here. And then now, do, 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 right? Non local best, best is equal to max best length of scene. The reason why I don't want to do it like recursively is not for any particular reason other than that. Um, then you have to kind of check the length every time, which I guess we already do a bit, but I don't know. Maybe that this is slightly more efficient, but not by much, right? Oh, what did I do? Oh, I didn't return. The base case not returning, so this looks good. Um, we might into run into uh, running time. Uh, ooh. Oh, huh. <sighs> Silly edge case is fine. I didn't know that. Uh, for, I, I, to be honest, I just didn't read the the, uh, the input. For some reason, I thought that that's not possible in the input, but I just didn't really look for it either. So maybe that's why. Okay, so I mean, not that bad. Apparently, I got it right the last three times, but not today. <laughs> I didn't even remember doing this three times. Is it really that? Uh, hmm. 
Uh, do it with power set. Also power set. Yeah, no, this is kind of very similar to. Eh, I don't know. <clears throat> I guess this is very similar to what we did today, but but yeah. Um, the reason why I want to do it this way today was just because I think it seems like in the past I've used Bitmask and I think there is some confusion about why we use Bitmask and today I just kind of wanted to do it without doing any Bitmask which is just to, by using scene, right? So there are definitely ways to do it uh, and Bitmask is an, is an optimization business and, uh, and I, to be honest, I wasn't sure that it is necessary this time, but the timing seems great, so I don't, you know, I'm worried about it. Oh, I don't remember this problem at all, and, and definitely did not remember solving it three times. So yeah, uh, what's the complexity here, right? So as I said, you know, um, th there is two recursive steps, right? So that means that uh, for every every index, it goes two to the n number of things, right? And that's pretty much it, really, because we just do two recursion for each item, um, and and, um, and the cost along the way is going to be about this one. And this is O of alpha in the worst case, where alpha is the size of the alphabet, because at most you can have 26 characters, and we're limited by it, because otherwise, I mean, it just cannot happen, right? Um, I mean, you only have 26 calories. But yeah, so that, that means that this is going to be O of 2 to the n times alpha. And that is going to be all we have for today. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I'm going to do the premium problem after this. And we'll chill and whatever. Yeah, let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. Uh, yeah, I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.